All right, hey guys, happy Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Facebook's having problems, so we are recording this video instead of going live. So we'll look forward to your comments later. I can't ask you if you can hear us or see us because you can't answer. Uh, so this has been my day today. It's been fascinating. Thank you, Facebook and Instagram. So I am with the, uh, we're gonna have shenanigans, shenanigans. today yeah. with Lee Our Forrest favorite. over to the left here and Michelle Butler. Very excited to have them on here. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Right, and we've got look, we've got emergency vehicles. I mean, you've got the it's you can't already. make up live. Well, it's not live. You can't make up this stuff. Maybe they're getting Facebook. Oh back my God, they're getting Facebook. Thank God. So welcome to the show. I'm very excited. Uh, we met early, late last week, right? Yeah. Michelle, you and I did, That's and awesome. uh, it was an awesome meeting. And she's like, "Well, I have to bring Lee on. Of he's my <laughs> he's my shenanigans guy. I'm like, That's of course, right. the more the merrier." Um, so welcome to the show. Thank you so, so much. much. We're so, so ex excited to be here. I'm excited to have you. So we always like to get the origin story. We like to get a little bit about <laughs> you. Then, of course, as we're progressing, I want to know how you two met, you know, all that good Aww. stuff. Um, so tell us a little bit about, we'll start with Michelle because, you know, the la ladies first. So Thanks. give us a little background on you. Well, I grew up in Oklahoma, so I'm an Okie. You're an Okie. Okay. <laughs> I'm an, an Okie girl. I don't know that people would probably know that about me. I would not because Oklahoma, how do you say it? Oklahoma? Uh, yeah, they don't Oklahoma. have an accent. Okies. We're Okies. Okies. Yeah. Okies, I like They Okies. do have do they? What are they? How do they say stuff? They are twangy. So if I go to Georgia or go to, you know, places in the south I start twanging like they do I did not know so, that. I yeah. just that's Midwest it's about yeah. as Midwest as you can get right it's definitely country yeah it's so, country yeah and then so what did you you grew up you have a fascinating background I grew up yeah so um my parents were dog show judges still my favorite story the, in, of the month it's literally coolest, my favorite thing it's the coolest thing I'm so fortunate and it was so much fun growing up around the puppy dogs and going to the dog shows and there are some intriguing people in the dog world. <laughs> so I asked you this before, but I'll ask you on camera. Yeah. I can't say live. It's so weird. Um, <laughs> Best in Show is one of my favorite yes, movies. Mine is too. it very similar to that? It's pretty similar to that. <laughs> so you have to. You yeah. have, if you have not seen Best in Show, I mean, it's got like Jane Lynch oh, in it, it, and the guy who's Historical. always so funny and uh, Pitch Perfect. Yep. Um, there's so many Catherine O'Hara's in it. Like it's got such a great cast, yeah. and I just feel like it is so dead on. <laughs> it is so dead on. They're such interesting characters, and it was so much fun to grow up in that world. And and I got to kind of be a grown up. You know, my parents. You know, I go to all the fancy dinner parties and to the dog show. And, and what kind of dogs did they raise? So my parents show? raised cocker spaniels, and our kennel was called Candy Lane. So as had, it should be. Yeah, it was so cute, and all of our dogs had C C names, so it was like Candy Lane, Chantilly, Lace, and Candy Lane Carousel. So nice. it was it was a. And didn't you tell yeah. me a story? Are you allowed to share this? I hope. Um, weren't you? Um, that your parents were okay with just putting you in with the dogs. <laughs> they were. So, I we, love this story because we, as a parent, that's exactly what I would do. Dogs yeah. are children too. Yeah. Exactly. We'd be at the dog show and they would have to go show a dog and they would just plop me in the dog pen with all of the exercise <laughs> pen with all the dogs and they would go. I mean, I love and that story. people would be totally fine with it in this day and age. <laughs> yeah, this day and age, DCF you probably would like could. descend yeah, on you. Like, and, what? Yeah. The dogs are babysitters, although but, dogs could be much better than yes, some people. Yes, and the puppies, of course, would have. Some people. <laughs> yeah, the puppies would have killed you if you came here. So, how did so. you make a transition? So, you're currently you have a uh, an event planning business. Yes, for about I've been in the industry twenty years. And so you're also a realtor. Yeah, that's newer. So, this is newer. So it. how did you go from all right, I, I lived, I was in the cages or the, <laughs> the detective area with the pups and now how did you make it to event planner? So, well, I obviously moved to Florida eventually, which was, of course, the best move of my life. And I met my ex-husband, who gave me my fabulous son, and so I'm very fortunate with that and, and loved every minute. Um, and I kind of fell into being a wedding planner. It was like a part-time job, and they were like, we want you to be the file girl, and I was. And then I was like, I think we should run this like a business as opposed to like a hobby. Yeah. And so I started just, I 
I didn't dream about being a wedding planner. I, dr I dreamt about being a meteorologist or a marine biologist, but there's no math dog was showing not person my, in there. No, no. So yeah, so I eventually became this wedding planner, and then eventually thought that real estate would be a great way to kind of stay in touch with my clients and keep them in my That's eyes. That's actually a <laughs> really smart idea because your database is so uh, diversified, yeah. right? So you've got, and all of those people eventually either know someone or they personally want to sell or buy a home. Yeah, of course. So why would you not? I think that's actually a really smart way to extend, you know, multiple streams of income, people. Yeah. That's the whole new... Not all your eggs in one basket. Not all your... <laughs> no, not all your puppies in one little <laughs> in kennel. One, exactly. Um, all right, how about you, Lee? Tell us a little bit about you. Well, I'm from Kentucky. I grew up on a farm. A lot of people have a lot of trouble believing that, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I've been there with them. <laughs> she has, she's visited them. I don't know, you said. sort of look like a Hatfield or McCoy, right? So, <laughs> Kentucky, I know that's probably not I'm Kentucky. the middle part of the state. <laughs> <laughs> that's eastern Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, my best friend, though, he's actually descended from the Hatfields. His grandmother was a Hatfield. How cool is so, that? Um, so he has Kentucky roots as well. But anyway, I um, grew up on a farm. I, Used to run around the farm and pick wildflowers to give to my mom and old mason jars as a Mother's Day present. That's she sweet. had allergies, so she instantly put them outside on the porch. <laughs> and I was God bless mom. Composting. <laughs> yeah, that's composting at its best. But I always loved flowers. I can remember being five years old and I wanted to be a florist someday. So you go through all the little things that little boys wow. go through. I want to be a police officer. I want to be a fireman. I want to be an attorney. I want to be an, a historian, an architect, a librarian. I came back to doing what I wanted to do in the beginning. That's you know, amazing. I mean, forest. that's at an early age. So you had such a passion for flowers. I mean, they're beautiful. I, it takes so much talent. I think people really underestimate how much talent it takes to put something together to look pretty. And when it, when it comes in and you see it delivered or you see it at a wedding or you see it anywhere and the arrangement looks amazing, that takes work, people. It does take yeah. a lot I of can't work. do it. It's a lot of work. I don't even know how to do it. They'd be dead before they even got to the church. Um, so how did you make that a business? Because that's, it's, you have a passion for it, but then you have to have a business. You want to make a business yeah. out of it. You want to make money. You want to make career. money. You want to do what you love and also make a living out of it. Um, I used to do flowers for people just for fun. You know, they'd pay me a little bit of money just uh, when I was a teenager or when I was in my 20s. And I needed a part-time job in addition to my full-time job when I was 22, 23, 24 years old, I don't remember. And a florist happened to be hiring. So I walked in. He's like, okay, put this vase flowers together I'm working on. Put it together, he's like, oh, you're pretty good. <laughs> you're a natural talent. So, so, <laughs> we got it. We got, so it. We got a live one. Me. <laughs> so he hired me on the spot. So That's that awesome. led to another job, which led to another job over the years, and then it became a full-time passion. So that helped hone your skill, right? Because you, you had a, you obviously had experience, the, a natural correct. talent. I never went to school for it. Uh, a lot of people asked, oh, you must have gone to a design school. And I didn't. Oh, people, it's a natural talent yeah. you have. I feel Just that people that, um, that are truly the best at their craft, they have a natural I agree. gene for it. You know, it's not something that you can learn. It's, it's innate in you already. So, um, so how do you make that um, a full-fledged business? Because, I mean, I would imagine in Florida, uh, especially, mm -hmm. you've got weddings all the time because mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not limited yeah. as much to the winters mm -hmm. and the, the, the issues. It's a good business to be in down here. Yeah. We have good weather most of the year. Um, you know, a couple of months in the summer, it's a little warm. Uh, <laughs> you don't so. say. Those six <laughs> months of the year, Rob. So like, hey, weddings kind of slack off for a few weeks during that time of the year. But, I mean, we've got nine or ten or eleven good months that we have yeah. good solid business so we're fortunate whereas up north uh, you know, I moved here from Indianapolis um, you only had <laughs> three or four good months of weather so you know all your wedding months are June July yeah. well down here that's wedding not a, season that's, yeah that's that's our off season down yeah. here so Listen, I love it. I love it when I have to, you know, send my gift for anybody who gets married in July or August. So here's no way. Or when it's outdoors, I'm like, are you insane? Yeah. How do you and people go do it out? all the time? They do, they and totally I don't, do I don't think They're they crazy. realize it. I posted a meme. I do, I do an insomnia meme, like. I, I know, know, I love those. So mine says, please don't invite me to anything outside. I'm fat and I'm I hot. Saw that. So I just don't. I just don't get it. Like. 
But I know that some people that is like a big deal. They like, want their weddings inside. outside. And they think yeah. the weather's gonna be perfect that day. So yeah. you know, that's Florida. It's Mother Nature you're working with. Like so. Chelsea, who got married in August, and she's she, a Floridian, she. and she knew. <laughs> and she got married. We put up a tent. To she kind had of a nice tent. Though. Shaded a bit. Yeah, I would need but, a but tent is. with a full-on pose. <laughs> right? It's how a does little the toasty. makeup not <laughs> or your lie. hair as oh, a woman? Does. How does it not <laughs> fall? Oh, it does. <laughs> I don't know how anybody does it, but I mean, I know that they yeah. do, and people get married at the Disney Pavilion all the time. They do. And they just love lie. that. Yeah. And meanwhile, I'm like, okay, I don't even want to walk outside. <laughs> I don't want from the deck to, to the AC. pool. Yeah. yeah. Smart brides get married indoors in the summertime. Yeah, you know, it's you can't a lot. depend on the weather. You can't. During those months. And so, how did you two meet? Through the wedding business. Weddings. Yeah. Yeah. I we, think our first was our first wedding a big um, wedding we did at the Ritz. So, oh my god, I yeah. love that and space. It was, that was an awesome that was stunning. wedding. Yeah, yeah exactly. Incredible wedding. When did you do that? Oh my god. 12, 13, 14 years yeah, ago. I've lost track. <laughs> I wonder if Donald Wait, Samets was there. We've been best since a long time. Know, but I love, there, love, though. love the Ritz. I love that. So beautiful. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. We started, started getting to know each other, and she started, hey, you're kind of a cool person. Let's get together outside of work. So we started hanging out outside of work yeah. with her friends, and, and that's kind of how we became besties. Yeah, so. we traveled all over together and yeah. I've been to Kentucky and he's How's going to Oklahoma with me. So. <laughs> yeah, you've heard me Isn't snore. that important to find somebody that you can do that with? Yeah. Stacey and I always say oh, we, have great fun we, we have to you have to have uh, you have to set boundaries when you travel. Because right. we'll go with people who travel and we're like, okay, here's what we don't do. We don't get up early. Uh, we don't have to see every That's sight me. known to I man. Know. I do not. He's knocking on my door. I don't want. I don't want to get up that early. I yes. don't have to have the free breakfast. Um, we're talking about cruising mostly, but Sluggy there's sleep. just just like, like you do you. We will eventually come together for dinner. Yeah, That's exactly. always my thought exactly. process. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of people who don't like relax. that. <laughs> I'm on yes, and so your relaxation is different than mine. But we have people that are like, well, you're missing out. No, I've already been to the Bahamas 25 times. <laughs> I don't I've had my hair them. braided, and I've got every basket known to man. Oh, wow. That's you an egg. your hair. <laughs> well, so uh, Michelle knows all the cool breakfast spots to go to. Anywhere oh. we travel, she's always looking up restaurants. Are you, you're an early bird? I'm the restaurant queen. Oh, I love restaurants. So restaurant. I like to... Foodie. You're a, a foodie. foodie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, food. I would be a great restaurant critic. She would. You yeah. should do well, that. I know, well, I should. Hire this one right here. She What's some of your favorite new places in town? I mean, you guys must get to try new venues and see new caterers and... Um, I won't put you on the spot on caterers because yeah, I know you have to like, work with we them. We have lots of favorites. What about... Do you love Arthur's Caterers? I know. Oh, my Hands God. Down. Arthur's I was just amazing. at Arthur's before I came here. Who's the so. wonderful bald guy that's um, always the bartender at anything Greg. Arthur's? Greg. I think it is Greg. Greg. I love He's Greg. Love He's so good. He's awesome. And the fact that I know Greg. means I go to a lot more events than I yeah. probably should. Oh, they're so amazing. Yeah. Like but what do you guys do for regular food? Um, so regular food. Like, what's um, a new fun place you've been to recently? I think people like to know that. I mean, you're pl you're you're both out there. And well, about. I mean, new. I I, I have I tend to be a huge fan of like the Luke's, the Prado, the Luma. Those yep. are still an oh, awesome oh, restaurant Luke's. group that we love and adore. I've not been to Luke's yet. Oh Luke's my gosh, great. that's I hear it's amazing. Luke's that's great. fabulous. Yep. But so I great. Great. I'm constantly like reading all of the reviews and all the new restaurants to know what's out there and going and eating at them regularly. So I love I, to in do my that. phone, I have a list of all the places. That you want to go? <laughs> like I want to go to MX Taco. I guess it's. I New here that's really good District, yes which isn't far from you we just went to menagerie on sunday I go. How was that's it? where the old muddy waters yeah, was yeah, yeah. across from that's on my list. it's all the rustique people mm. yeah it was phenomenal and i love rustique it was so. absolutely that's good. perfect and you know one of the reasons one of the biggest tests for me for brunch is if you pre-make my mimosa and I can't get light on the orange juice, I hate you. Yeah. So I asked them when I got no, there, no, I go, no, I, no, I, no, I just no, want the champagne no. with a splash. splash. And they said, of course, we'll pour you a whole thing of champagne and bring you a juice glass oh. and you put in what you want. That's a place Makes that knows how to do bottomless mimosas. Yeah. Yeah. But their food was delicious. Good. I had Almost an amazing, yep. I know, Bloody right? Bloody I want, I want to try Bloody different Bloody things. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm also cognizant of the ones that aren't so fantastic, which I won't name here. Yeah. But I do like, you don't know till you try. I do love brunch at Boya. I do think that's... So I have not been to that's brunch That's an amazing there. brunch. Okay. I think that's one of the things they do the best. They definitely do it. And so do brunch. they... And it's like, I think it's bottomless 
drinks as well with like mm -hmm. sangrias and mimosas oh, and smart. things like that. Yeah, it's so good. I think we do a great, uh, our city is about brunch for some reason. Yeah, we We're really brunch. brunchy people. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. I mean, pick a day. If you had it on <laughs> Fridays, I might do it. I mean, yeah. but I think it's, it's interesting that um, people advertise brunch and then you go there and you're like, this is your, this is what you're doing. Yeah. So I think there's a big business for both of you as a restaurant consultant. Yeah. I've always wanted oh, to do that. that. I think, yeah. I think <laughs> restaurants, uh, especially in Orlando, because the close rate is so high, it's, it's national, but to try to oh, find sure. a place that stays, a lot of mm -hmm. here. Yeah. but then they start out strong and then they literally, for whatever reason, it's like down like this. And so we have places that close. Yeah. I really like, like I was quickly. just, that is exactly the one I was going to yeah, talk about. I, like, Nova. I had a Nova, a Nova close. Nova closed. And, and stir, which and took stir. where Nova was. I'm excited about the new, oh, I'm excited because that's the people who do seven bites that yes. are going to have the. What's the name I'm of so that? I'm so excited. It's right by me. What is it? It's got a, it's got a great name it's and we're sorry. I'm so sorry. We we'll love you that. guys. And yeah, we do. <laughs> Dang it. But I like to try that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. when you guys are out and you're at, you're, you're planning your events, you get to interact with so many different vendors across, mm -hmm. across the state. Yeah. I mean, and across the uh, central Florida. Country. Mm -hmm. We've actually Never. done weddings in other cities and yeah. things. Yeah. Which so is what fun. are some, of, what are some of the mistakes that people make? when they are either trying to work with you or maybe you've got, do you have bridezillas that you have to deal with? Uh, because you see, you see all that show. Some and are fabulous. Cool. <laughs> Occasionally She's only had a little bit to drink. Run for your money. But, um, <laughs> no, people put too much attention on the tiny details that nobody's going to yeah. notice. They don't see the big picture. So That's they, a great yourself. point. At the end of the day, nobody's going to remember if the bow on your invitation is tied a certain way. Nobody's yeah. going to no, Nobody's yeah. going to care. They are going to remember the experience of yeah. the day. And feel the love. And they're going to remember if they had fun, if they had a great DJ, a great band, great food. Gorgeous flowers. That yeah. is what we. Was run perfectly, which that's is what you planners. remember, right? So for my daughter's wedding, we had the reception here. And you still and ask you who the planner was. Right? I cannot remember. <laughs> Probably my wife. That's who it'll end up being. Thank, thank God we're not live, yeah. so you can catch this later. Uh, but the it, what was important to her were the flowers. Mm -hmm. Number one, People food, the bar, mm -hmm. and the DJ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was it. The rest of it, it didn't, didn't matter. necessarily matter. Stacy added a few things in there that she wanted as the mother mm -hmm. of the bride. Yeah. Uh, but Courtney wanted those things and that's what was important to yeah. her. Um, and so we had our wedding reception here too. And I remember did we did. Um, and so like I know home. it's crazy. <laughs> 28 years, 28 and a half years wow. ago. Oh, 28 years ago. Um, and so we, ha but we had a wedding. We had a lady. We called her our angel. I don't even know who she is. Uh, oh. Maybe she's not around anymore. It's been 28 years. God bless her. But that was so important to have somebody. And that was the other thing. Having someone there to take all that pressure off of you, which is mm -hmm. what you guys do. Like yeah. so you take does. that off. You, because that was the thing. I didn't want, once I, once I was done, once I walked my daughter down, I actually sang at my daughter's um, oh, wedding. You sing? It's crazy. I know. It's a crazy thing. Oh, yeah. I sang at the wedding a cappella. Um, at first, at first press, uh, I sang the Lord's Prayer. And so uh, once I was done with that, the only thing on my mind was a bar. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that when I got there, I didn't ever go without a cocktail. Didn't have to wait <laughs> I didn't care about the Somebody food. Like I knew the food was delicious. The Literally, I never was without a drink. Oh. That was a smart wedding person yes. to make sure that I, because I told them up front what my needs well, were. Well, and that's good. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what you want. We know what your pet peeves are. Mm -hmm. Um, How important is that? Because I think so I, I would imagine, like, I think there's got to, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. So just what because you think, mm -hmm. correct. Yeah. And they don't always do that. It's about them. It's not about you. And they don't them. always yeah. know how to express to you how they want right. to do it either. Mm -hmm. So you have to be intuitive, yeah. I think, both of you. Absolutely. We kind of have to pull it out of them without them knowing the, that we pull it same out. Same with the flowers, <laughs> I would think. So yeah. when Stacy came to me for our wedding and said, well, I'm going to have this, this, and this. I mean, I'm a dude. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Uh, for Courtney's You're a stylish wedding, dude, by the way. yeah, but I'm, there's certain things I really don't know. Like I really have absolutely no idea. Usually within five minutes of meeting a bride, I can tell exactly what her look is going to be, whether she knows it already or not. 
I see that's important you I, have that into you have a gift exactly exactly so i can tell you what her whole look her colors what she likes what she doesn't like and why do so many why do so many brides <laughs> pick such hideous bridesmaid dresses because that's all it's <laughs> I mean, you know, is that what it is? Well, I mean, because they've definitely gotten better, but, mm -hmm. and now you can at least choose like different styles. You can choose right. the color and then everybody can wear what, you know, flatters them because there's nothing more unflattering than like the strapless dress on everybody who shouldn't be wearing Listen, a Listen, if you look like dress. a linebacker, you <laughs> need to not be wearing a strapless Don't dress. Don't wear lime green. <laughs> Don't to wear lime green. But isn't it funny how Different colors. we yeah. all talk about it, we all see the shows, we watch Yes to the Dress, we watch Bridezilla, no, we and yet you, you probably don't. <laughs> We've been but, on that's like my shows. nightmare, yeah, but exactly. Yet you, but yet these same people will do the exact mistake. And I'm always want so I always wondered. They're so, going to be different. But do, are are you? You obviously want to do it with love, but are you constructive with your brides of course, of course, and your? Okay, definitely. so that's always. important. Always, yeah. I always tell my my brides, I'm like, always. listen, I'm going to give you my two cents. I'm going to tell you what I think works and what doesn't work. But it's up to you. It's your wedding. Do what yep. you want with it. Totally agree. And yeah. You don't want to and you don't them. say it like this, like, you know, it's your wedding, you it's do what wedding. you want. You're I the mean, boss. this is what I would say, that's why I'm not in I actually business. do kind of like, say, you're the boss, it's your wedding. Like, honey, and that's not going to work, you're going to look like an idiot, and then I'm going to look like an idiot. But, so, but you do, do you, you. you. Look bad. Yeah, I, I'm afraid I'd be really snarky. Uh, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you, you do you, honey. Really we have that behind the scenes. Yeah, we have to do with that behind the scenes. This is why I would drink. Like, I don't know how you guys... We do drink as well. Not at the events, though, because we're not allowed to do that. But what do people <laughs> spend money on that they, that they, like you were talking about the bows, Lee. I feel mm -hmm. like some people, like um, my daughter wanted a very simple program. We almost mm -hmm. didn't have programs, right? Well, so um, I, I, we said to her, I'm sure Stacy had conversations with her. All right, so do you want to spend that much money on a program yeah. that we're probably, Somebody's nobody's going to look gonna at. Nobody's going to leave the church. We're, 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 we're throwing them at people, yep. yeah. trying to get mm -hmm. them to look yeah. at it. Mm -hmm. And do you think they're going to take it from the church to the yeah. car? I really? Mean, it, it, mm -hmm. so it's going to leave it at the church. Do you have to fight <laughs> people on things like that? Do you, do you, and by fight, I mean, I'm going to be professional. Do you have to redirect <laughs> them? <laughs> Everybody has their priorities, yeah. and I respect that. Like some people, it's all about the ring. For some people, it's all about the gown. For, For sure. some people, it's all about the food. Flowers aren't that big of a deal. For some people, it's all about the flowers. So, you know, everybody has their own priorities of where they want to focus their money. Um, we help direct that. We definitely we, do. We do, yes. Yeah. And I'll give them an, an amazing look for for the budget that they i have yeah, no doubt that. you will mm -hmm. i think that's so important too um you know th this is a big huge wedding uh capital of the world yeah, people want to come two, here are we Vegas, number two yeah. no yeah. doubt in my mind so you want to come here our venues um but then i think like people think yeah. they're they can't afford a nice wedding i've also been to the ones where I'm like, God, I could have given you 50 bucks yeah. and we could have done a whole lot better with the bar or yeah. I'll go to the florist real quick and go buy you some flowers, sweetie. Uh, so I think, right. I th you know, it's just, it's so funny what people don't focus on and then their fears stop them from right. reaching out to a you mm -hmm. or a Lee. You have to have a planner. I say I would have a planner if I got married and it it's wouldn't be, it DIY, wouldn't be in my me. opinion, DIY, it's, it's very popular, totally but not. a lot of people stress themselves out and they can't really enjoy well, you yeah, you have, have you ever seen the things that are that that DIY day. on it's, Pinterest? The other hideous. You can't make the same cake or the same floral <laughs> no, arrangement, DIY. people. DIY, bad no. idea. Bad. If you're incredibly just... crafty and skilled at something and can, I've seen some brides. And if it's brides, stuff you can do ahead of time. I've seen some brides deliver some, be like Lacey did her beautiful mirror. Mm -hmm. She did it herself. It oh, that's gorgeous. Cool. But, but it's one piece, right? Don't try to do the whole wedding. No, don't do the whole wedding. No. Some people try to do their flowers themselves and it's like they end up stressing themselves out and then they don't have anybody set things up for them yeah. on the wedding day and then they, uh, they're just a mess you know they don't enjoy the day focus so focus on, ye on hey, what you're there for i've also seen people do, do um, allegedly they know how to do calligraphy right, oh, right. <laughs> so you spend all this money on the invitation <laughs> And then it looks like a two-year-old wrote it. Yes. <laughs> and I just can't, I'm like, oh my God, you should just do do an Evite then, if that's what you're gonna do, because it looks so or bad. Or just run it through the printer. There's some really great <laughs> programs that do that You know, I have you. no room to speak, because I can't judge any of them. I just know what I don't like. And yeah. I would imagine that if I were to come to you with an event, that's what I would start with. As a human being, I go, okay, Michelle Lee, 
see these are all the things I hate. Yeah, which is so good let to know. help me back into the things I like. Right. Maybe I don't help. know that as yeah. much. That does help a great deal. Yeah. Because I know what I don't want, but sometimes people don't know what they do want. Right. And so they're trying to figure it out. Like, okay, I don't want daffodils. Right. Or I don't want, what's the one my daughter said? Absolutely no. She did not want carnations. Oh, oh yeah. I know, Sorry, make I the face. No, it's all right. I mean, no, but don't, the carnation, I just went, the no, carnation I, balls <laughs> became really, really popular years ago. I swear if it was you're the say carnation. Balls in any sense, it was the carnation farmers carnations. making yeah. making it popular, don't you think? I don't know. It was know. popular for a hot minute. It was minute, so popular. Um, because carnations were inexpensive at one point, they're not so much anymore oh. because See? they became trendy. There you so go. the prices bumped up. Yeah. Um, when you pop them and you do them really tight, you don't notice that they're carnations, yeah, so they're not as bad. But, oh, I guess. But it's still, kind of scary. You know, but I feel like that's what your pop up wears to your grandmother's funeral. Like that's the thing you put on. <laughs> a, I'm still I'm not, a not, a, a not a carnation fan, and I understood my. I don't like carnations when you can tell that it looks like a carnation. Yeah, you have yeah. to. You have to. If but somebody talented that, like you yeah. could do yeah. that, and, and you have to have the vision to do that. Mm -hmm. And so I, I just, I didn't oh. have that. So I would probably come to you and go, Lee, no carnations. Now, if you said to me, all right, but I think with your budget, Ted, you cheap, <laughs> cheap person. Uh, you, you're gonna need some, you, carnations, you're gonna need some carnations, baby. No, you got one rose place. in the middle and a whole bunch of carnations. No, 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 but I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna make it look pretty. I'm not gonna make it look cheap. Uh, exactly. Yeah. But I think it's people, amazing. I think people just underestimate that, or they want to go and they want to buy their own. And so I, I'm in agreement yeah. with both of you. The DIY stuff. I get it. You want to make a, a recipe like that? Or you want to try... Yeah. Okay, you can play with that because that's not somebody's wedding that yeah. you deal with. One of the things that I was fascinated with, we had video when 28 years ago. Uh, my daughter's mm. friends, all of them, none of them wanted a videographer. Oh, I'm a huge fan of video. Oh, I to think video is so... And she wants video to kill me every time I say video. it. And thankfully, we had friends who took video of the fur mm -hmm. of the father daughter. So you separate. didn't have video for nice your memory. daughter? No. Well, somebody no, took no, no, it. No, no. I mean, I had a lot video. of friends. Like yeah. you know, Tim Hobart was there. Like yeah. I had really good friends mm -hmm. that took great video. Yeah. Nice but for us, later. it was so it was critical. It's... We had a photographer, videographer. Mm -hmm. They were together. Yeah, mm -hmm. they worked together. Uh, they worked together. Yeah, and so perfect. my daughter's like, eh, you know, whatever. And I'm thinking, in this day and age of Facebook and Instagram, you don't want video. But people pass away. And yeah. you want to be, you can look you can back, remember. like I can look back at my yep. video and still see my totally. parents, my grandparents, Correct. hear the toasts, mm -hmm. see the dances. It's so important. Video is a must. You have to have it. I just, I'm amazed sure. in this day and age, as important as video is to everything Dang. else. Everything mm -hmm. we do. Uh, but all of her friends opted out. Like every wedding mm -hmm. I've been to for her friends, her age group, she'll be 27 this year. Oh. Um, nobody wants to have a videographer. No, it's nice for your grandkids, you know. It maybe not so much Hopefully for you. Thinking of the grandkids. But, but, <laughs> no, I like it. That's, that's where you go. Your that's children, true, you know, your right? grandkids yeah. can get to know what your parents were like. Well, I mean, mine's still, like, like. still on VHS. Mine's still on VHS as well. I, had it, I cannot uh, watch it. Colonial <laughs> Photo and Hobby uh, yeah, transfer. I should transfer mine over. And over it was the best thing we ever did. Yeah. Because there won't be a day you won't be able to watch the. Well, it's going to break no. at some yeah. point. Those are not yeah. made, and so I you're going to try to. I have a few copies of my divorced we wedding video, <laughs> but again, I can. And my ex husband's a great guy, so that's right. You have always said that. Every yeah, time he's a good such guy. a good always guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's nice to be able to still look at it, and even though we're not together, I, I like him, and we have a son, we and I have amazing, amazing parents, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know, it's just cool. to watch certain people like I you, like you said, that aren't around anymore. I would love to look at the video and go, "Oh my God, all of you got old, and I didn't." How did that happen? The alcohol. You're so lucky. So, You're I'm well so preserved. Lucky. I'm so I'm t That's what the alcohol does. I always say no that. bacteria. I'm well preserved. <laughs> all right. So um, we're going to share all of Lee and Michelle's contact information, how you can reach out to them, how you can get in touch with them. I mean, if you're planning any kind of event, a wedding, these are the two shenanigans, people, that you want to um, we have. We love to work together. I love you all. <laughs> all right, any parting, any parting words of wisdom for them? Anything you want to share before we head out? Well, in life, if you're not happy with your piece of the pie, make your own pie. So that's how I came to open my own business. You know, I wasn't happy working with somebody else, and I realized I should be making this money for me, not for someone else. I love so that. That's make very good. Make your own good. pie if you're not happy with your own. That's a really good one. So Michelle, yeah. cure cancer now. 
<laughs> I wish no I could. pressure. I really do. I really do. I just kind of abide by the thought of you should live every day like it's your last mm -hmm. and enjoy it and you be good know. to people and love people and and um, that what you put out into the universe comes back to you. So. Tenfold, a hundredfold, you yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. Seriously, sure. what she's saying, it doesn't matter what your mm -hmm. faith is, law of attraction, yeah. whatever you do, you have to plant those seeds. You have to give it out because I promise you it's going to come back so much more yes. than you could ever imagine. People, people say you spend time with people who don't send you any business. Well, if you're spending time with people for that reason then you're missing out on reason. everything yeah. and you're not putting the right message out yeah. to the universe to god to wherever you're at trust me that is a bad place to be but if you're just spending time with people and you're doing things and yeah. it's the right thing to do and they're the right people then it pro i promise you it's going to be very beneficial for you in a different way than you probably imagined for sure. uh, but it's going to come back to you so those are great words Absolutely. of wisdom so you guys were a joy we had shenanigans Aww, today you. I love you. Come so on. Much fun. So much fun. Awesome. See? Awesome oh, I love you guys so much. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Hopefully, Facebook will be up. Yeah. At some point. <laughs> maybe <laughs> tomorrow. Like, what, what the? I don't we know. Tried to post we today. tried. We will at some point. All right. Love you guys. Mwah. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye. Bye.